Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, and we're going to come together and read the next of our Psalms. We're going to read this morning Psalm 9. So let's read this together as we come into God's presence. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all the marvellous things you have done. I will be filled with joy because of you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. My enemies retreated, they staggered and died when you appeared. You have judged in my favour. From your throne you have judged with fairness. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have erased their names forever. The enemy is finished in endless ruins. The cities you uprooted are now forgotten. But the Lord reigns forever, executing judgment from his throne. He will judge the world with justice and rule the nations with fairness. The Lord is a shelter for the oppressed, a refuge in time of troubles. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, do not abandon those who search for you. Sing praises to the Lord who reigns in Jerusalem. Tell the world about his unforgettable deeds. For he who avenges murder cares for the helpless. He does not ignore the cries of those who suffer. Lord, have mercy on me. See how my enemies torment me. Snatch me back from the jaws of death. Save me so I can praise you publicly at Jerusalem's gates. So I can rejoice that you have rescued me. The nations have fallen into a pit they dug for others. Their own feet have been caught in the trap they set. The Lord is known for his justice. The wicked are trapped by their own deeds. The wicked will go down to the grave. It is the fate of all the nations who ignore gods. But the needy will not be ignored forever. The hopes of the poor will not always be crushed. Arise, O Lord, do not let mere mortals defy you. Judge the nations. Make them tremble and fear, O Lord. Let the nations know they are merely human. Amen. And that's Psalm 9. Again, it's a psalm with, with lots of ups and downs in it. Um, a psalm where there's praise, there's, there's, there's thanking God. Uh, it's a psalm where there's also that sense of injustice going on and asking God to, to put that right. There's a warning of judgment. Um, as the psalmist writes about how God will judge those. But just a couple of things to pick out. Verse 9, the Lord is a shelter for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble. God is always there for us. He never turns his back on us. In fact, the psalmist goes through to say that how, whenever we have searched, those who trust in your name, um, the, you know those who trust in your name, O oh Lord, do not abandon those who have searched for you. It's that sense that you know God doesn't let us go. He holds on to us. He cares for us. He's always there for us. And again, that sense of saying thank you for to God whenever he, he is. Answered, answered our prayers and always done things for us in verse 14. Save me so I can praise you publicly at Jerusalem's gate. So I can rejoice that you have rescued me. Forgive the noise in the background. Yeah, I'll stop in a little second. There is that sense that... Um, Quite often we forget to thank God or to praise God um, whenever he has done things for us. And it's remembering to come and to do that. So let's do that right now. Let's come and thank God for all that he's done for us. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your great goodness to us. Thank you for all that you do for us each and every day. Lord, forgive us that whenever, whenever we forget to come and say thank you to you, Whenever we forget to come and praise you, but we, we praise you now for how you look after us, how you care for us, how you're always with us. Lord, you're a great God. And Lord, we, we can't even start to fathom just how great and wonderful and marvellous you are. So thank you. Thank you that you are fair, that you are just, that you show us grace. So Lord, as we head into this day, we ask that you go with us. That you help us, protect us and guide us. May your blessing be upon us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks folks for joining with me this morning. And I do trust that you would know God's peace and God's blessing today. 
Take care. See you again tomorrow. Bye.